All right, 10 2, measuring angles and arcs. Uh, so we've got some vocabulary and some formulas to learn here, but really this is not a bad lesson at all. It says find the measure of the arc or central angle indicated. Okay, so let's talk about what is a central angle. A central angle is an angle formed where the vertex is at the center of the circle. Okay, now these problems are really easy in terms of uh, finding these. All that you have to know here is that the measure of the angle is equal to the measure of the arc, okay? So what's the arc? The arc is this. That is 120 to 7 degrees. So that is also the measure of the angle, 127 degrees. Okay, the arc right here is 140. <coughs> Excuse me. So this angle right here is also 140. Now, let me give you some other vocabulary here real quick. Uh, there are two different types of arcs. There's a minor arc. Okay, minor arcs, minor arcs again, are less than 180 degrees. Okay, so what's 180 degrees? Well, think about a circle. A circle is 360 degrees all the way around. So if it's less than half the circle, then it's a minor arc. Okay, so minor arcs are less than 180 degrees. The others are referred to as major arcs, and a major arc is greater than 180 degrees. So what do we call something that's equal to 180 degrees? We call it a semicircle or semicircle, however you pronounce it. A semicircle is equal to 180 degrees, and that's formed by drawing a diameter. So if you draw a diameter in a circle, it divides the circle in half. Okay, so some vocabulary to know there. All right, let's keep going. Let me move this out of the way here. Okay. So right here, these are our notations for arcs. Arc VW. You just draw a little arc over the letters VW. Okay, so VW is right here. So how would I get it? Well, right here I have a diameter. So a diameter again, we just got through saying, divides the angle or the circle in half, 180. So if I take 180 minus 55, it gives me 125. That means this arc right here is 125 degrees because that and that give me all of this, which is half a circle or a semicircle. Okay, this one says find angle FCD, FCD, so FCD. In other words, we're looking for that right there. Okay, so how are we going to do this one? Well, remember, a circle all the way around is 360 degrees. So in this one, I've got to do 145 plus 75. If I do that, that gives me 220. Then I'm going to subtract that from 360. So I do 360 minus 220 and that's 140. So that means this angle right here is 140 which is also the arc measure. All right, let's go to the next ones. It says solve for x. Assume that the lines which appear to be diameters are actually diameters. Okay, so again this is a diameter so all this is 180 so what do we do? We set up our equation. x plus 66 plus x plus 126 has to equal 180. So I do 66 and 126. Let me get my calculator. So that's 192. x plus x would be 2x. So 2x plus 192 equals 180. Subtract 192. Subtract 192. So 2x is a negative 12, divide by 2, and we get x is negative 6. Now, a good thing to do is plug in. So if I put negative 6 in here, that's going to make this 60. If I put negative 6 in right here, that's going to make that 120. What's 120 and 60? 180. So that works. Okay, let's do this next one over here. This one's a little different. Because here we have the arc, which is 17x plus 11, 
but we also have the angle, which is 130. What's the relationship? Those two are equal. So here I'm going to do 17x plus 11 equals 130. So subtract 11, 17x equals 119, divide by 17, and x equals, let me do that real quick, 7. Now again, a good thing to do is plug it back in. So if I do 17 times 7 plus 11 times 7 plus 11, I get 130, which is what I had. All right, next ones. Find the measure of the arc or central angle indicated, assume that lines which appear to be diameters, actual di diameters. Okay, so the difference is here, First, we've got to find x. Okay, so how do we get x? Just like what we did earlier. That's a diameter. So if I take this and this together, that has to equal 180. So 115 plus x plus 2x plus 65 has to equal 180. So x and x would be 3x. 115 and 65 would be 180. So I subtract 180. Gonna go, oh man, so here we get zero, because divide, that's just going to give us x is zero. Okay, now, the question asks us for arc dbc. Now, one thing to note here, whenever you have three letters in an arc name, that means it's going to be a major arc, which means it has to be more than half the circle. So that means you've got to go in that order, D, B. C. Okay, now let's figure this out. How far is it from here to here? Well, that much is 180. That's half the circle. But I still have to find this much to complete it to go from D to B to C. So how do I do that? Well, I take this and plug it in. That's going to make that 115. So now, to get arc DBC, so arc DBC, would be 180 plus 115. So if I add those, that's going to give me 295. So one thing to remember is when it has three letters, that means it's a major arc, which means it's got to be more than 180 degrees. All right, I believe we've got one more problem here on the back. Okay, this one says find the length of the arc. Okay, that's important. New term, length of the arc. So let me give you a formula here. It's referred to as arc length. And it's very similar to the circumference. So it's um, pi times diameter. But since it's only an arc, it's only a portion of the circle. So it's the angle over 360 degrees because I'm only taking part of the whole circle. The whole circle would be 360, I'm only taking part. Or the formula may be this, angle over 360 times 2 pi r. It depends on whether they give us radius or diameter. Okay, so in this particular problem, they give us right here, The radius is 16. They tell us the angle is 90. So all I do is I do angle over 360 times 2 pi and then r is 16. Now it says right as a simplified exact answer. That's important, exact. That means I'm going to leave pi in the answer. So I'm going to basically treat pi like a variable. So I'm going to leave pi right here. All I'm going to do is this and this and this on the calculator. So I do 90 divided by 360 times 2 times 16, and that gives me 8. So I get 8 pi, and then my units were in meters, and there's my arc length. Okay, number 9, there's my angle, there's my radius. So I do the same thing, 210 
over 360 times 2 pi times 12. Again, I'm going to leave pi in the answer here. So I'll put pi here, and then I just do 210 divided by 360 times 2 times 12, and I get 14. So that would be 14 pi, and this one is in miles. So a couple formulas, some vocabulary to learn here, but nothing too bad.